Even though we're a tech channel, we sometimes get as confused as you might be over how the letter K is used in marketing for TVs and computer monitors. Because there's actually no agreement on what a K actually is. Unless you're talking about Special K. A big part of the confusion amongst folks out shopping for a new screen is that terms like 2K, 4K, and 8K seem to imply very specific resolutions and dimensions, also leading to the belief that a 4K display must necessarily be twice as good as a 2K display. However, neither of these things are true. A K simply means a screen is roughly a thousand pixels across. So a 2K display is around 2000 pixels horizontally with 4K being around 4000. But here's the thing, how many Ks a display has tells you absolutely nothing else about that display just by itself. A great example is how loosely the term 2K is often used. A run of the mill 1920 by 1080 display can be correctly referred to as 2K, but hardly anyone actually says that. They usually call it full HD or 1080p. Rather, 2K is often thrown around as being synonymous with 2560 by 1440, even though the horizontal resolution is slightly closer to 3000 pixels. Further muddying the waters is how a body called Digital Cinema Initiatives, or DCI, does try to define a 2K standard, but even DCI 2K can mean a few different things depending on exactly how a video is cropped. DCI is actually a group of major movie studios, so they have a version of 2K considered native and another version that's significantly cropped to give that cinematic widescreen experience. Meaning 2K can correctly refer to a resolution of 2048 by 858, a very far cry from a standard 1440p monitor advertised as 2K. But this is only the tip of the iceberg. We'll demystify 4K and higher resolutions right after we thank Seasonic for sponsoring this video. Check out Seasonic's Prime TX 1000 watt power supply. It's a great choice if you're building a high performance system and it features an 80 plus titanium rating, which means less power gets wasted during power conversion. It's fully modular, features hybrid fan control to control overall fan noise, and it's got fluid dynamic fan bearings. That sounds cool. Best of all, it's got a 12 year warranty. Learn more at seasonic.com or through the links below. 4K can refer to several different display resolutions, but generally speaking, it's around four times the actual resolution of a 2K display, contrary to what you might think from the numbers alone, as long as you, you know, are okay at math. Most consumer displays marketed as 4K are technically Ultra HD, where the resolution is exactly four times the typical Full HD screen. But keep in mind that some wider displays, such as what you see on some phones, might be labeled as 4K, but they can achieve that wide aspect ratio simply by lopping off some of the pixels you'd get on a regular display. And speaking of wider screens, pay close attention to these labels when you're shopping for an ultra wide monitor. Some higher end ultra wides have the same 2160p vertical resolution as other 4K monitors, but because they have more pixels horizontally, they can be referred to as 5K ultra wides, which makes sense, but don't let that fool you into thinking they also have more pixels in the vertical direction, as there are screens simply marketed as 5K or 5K UHD that have a more standard aspect ratio. The 5K iMacs from Apple are a good example of this. So while the K system is a quick way to roughly figure out how crisp a display will be and a tool for marketing them in a way that will sound very sexy. Remember that you should check the actual horizontal and vertical resolution of any display before you buy it. Also remember that anything with a horizontal to vertical ratio greater than 1.78 will be wider than standard. You don't wanna order a 4K screen only to realize it won't even fit on your desk. I can see everything. Thank you for seeing this whole video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, check out our other videos, comment below with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and follow. If I can give you one tech tip, that is it. <laughs>